Hey guys, so now with less than 5 days until the 2020 presidential election, I want to take a look at Joe Biden's pathways to victory and how he can reach 270 electoral votes this November. I will also be taking a look at some possible Trump winning scenarios at the end of this video, but I think that they are much less likely. So today, I will be covering how Joe Biden can win the 2020 presidential election. Before we get into that, make sure you join my Discord server if you have not. The link is at the very top top of the description below we're doing many events contests and giveaways we also have a uh, 2020 map contest prediction going on right now so just submit your electoral maps and then the winner will win discord nitrous i believe i think we're giving it out at least three of them so depending on how many people enter so make sure you join my discord server so you do not miss out on all of that in addition to that i have also launched channel memberships on the, this channel it's just 99 cents per month and you gain access to some pretty sweet perks so make sure you join that if you're interested interested just click on that blue join button next to the subscribe button so moving on to today's video basically joe biden right now he has 210 electoral votes to donald with 125 from these states that i think are either solid or likely for joe biden now this is based off the margins of 2016 these states i think are the states that were pretty solid for either clinton or trump four years ago and on this map with the states that were a little bit closer four years ago or are closer now so starting off with this electoral map there are a few states that i think are definitely going to go to joe biden the first district of maine is definitely going to be a biden state although it was very close in 2016 new hampshire was actually the closest state in the election four years ago now it's going to be a pretty solid, likely Biden state. The state of Minnesota as well, 10 electoral votes. I think that is also going to be a pretty solid state for Joe Biden. It's going to be at least 8 7%, might even go up to 9%. This is a state that, keep in mind, Hillary Clinton only won by 1.5% four years ago. The state of Nevada, six electoral votes. Clinton was expected to lose this state, but she ended up pulling off a 2.4% victory over the current president. I think it's going to go to Joe Biden, but it's probably going to be a lean state. I think it is actually weaker for Joe Biden than these states of both Michigan and Wisconsin, but these three states are pretty important states for Joe Biden, and I would not just put them in Trump's column or Biden's column right now just because I think these states are going to be a little bit closer. So uh, in terms of just, uh, just because of their margins from four years ago, I will be uh, putting them in a uh, just a little bit later. So Joe Biden right now at 232 electoral votes. This is the same amount that Clinton won four years ago. Donald Trump, 125 electoral votes. There's no other states that I can give to Donald Trump reasonably. I mean, Texas, Iowa, Ohio, Georgia, I think that out of these four states, which have been the most solid for Trump throughout this entire election cycle in terms of these closer states, Ohio and Texas are the only ones right now that are actually pulling in favor of Joe, uh, Donald Trump. And the only two states uh, are battleground states that 538 actually projects to go to Donald Trump. Taking a look at their projection here, if we can, if I can pull that up for you guys uh, right here. So taking a look at the 538 forecast for this election, you will see that the only battleground states here are Texas and Ohio. Every other battleground state is right now projected to go to Joe Biden. Do I think he'll really win all of these? Do I think he'll really actually win Georgia, Iowa, Florida, North Carolina, do I think he'll win all of them? Not necessarily. I think he will win quite a few of them, however. I think Arizona, North Carolina, and Florida will go to Joe Biden. Georgia and Iowa, I am really iffy on right now. I think voter suppression is going to occur in, in Georgia. And then the state of Iowa, a state that went to Trump by almost 10% in 2016. I think this state will go to Donald Trump just because of that. But still, even though Joe Biden might not be winning in Georgia and Iowa, in my opinion, he still has so many different pathways to victory. So the first the most likely pathway. This is what I think to be the pathway that everybody knows about. So that would be the three Rust Belt states, these th three states making up the blue wall that Donald Trump was able to break through in 2016, the states of Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. That puts Biden up at 278 electoral votes, and he wins the election. So it's very, very simple for Joe Biden, to be completely honest. There really aren't too many states that Joe Biden actually has to win. I mean, Clinton lost these states by tiny margins in 2016. Michigan, it was just 0.3%. The state of Pennsylvania, it was a margin of 0.7%. 
and in the state of Wisconsin, it was also a margin of 0.7%, with Donald Trump not receiving a majority of the votes in any three of these states at 48.2% in Pennsylvania, 473 in Michigan, and then 47.2% in Wisconsin. Joe Biden right now is doing much, much better in these three states, and even if he wasn't doing too much better, I think that Joe Biden really is in a very good position, even if he, you know, isn't in as good of a position as he is in right now, just because Clinton, she really barely lost the 2016 election. I mean, she won the popular vote by almost two, by over 2%, and she also won the popular vote by almost 3 million votes. So, Clinton's performance definitely was worse than what people expected, but still, for a second place finish, it was not bad. Clinton went 232, Trump barely crossed 300 electoral votes, and Clinton, if she had only picked up these three very, very close states, she would be the president right now. So, the amount of improvement that Joe Biden needed to do this election cycle was very, very minimal, but Joe Biden has gone much, much further than that, which is why I'm actually making this video, because he now has so many different paths to victory. It's not just these three states. He could easily lose a state like Pennsylvania and make it up with another state, but if he loses Pennsylvania, he's probably going to do worse in these other states as well. But let's just say the numbers hold, but he does lose Pennsylvania, but the numbers in these other states hold the same. He could very easily win Arizona, in my opinion. He could also very easily win the state of Florida, as well as North Carolina. I think that although North Carolina may receive some voter suppression, I think that just because of how early voting began, uh, you know, started so early, and you know, the state is close, and I think Democrats are going to try to flip this state for the first time for a Democrat since 2012. These of North Carolina has been voting pretty much for Republicans in every election, you know, before and after 2000, or not 2012, but 2008. The state of North Carolina has been voting for Republicans before or after 2008, when Barack Obama won it over John McCain by, I believe, 0.3%. This time, I think this state is going to flip. The demogra demographics here are shifting towards the left. And I just think that with Trump's horrible performance nationwide, I can see that North Carolina definitely shifting to the left. This is a state that Clinton barely lost by just 3.6% four years ago. So taking a look at some other seats that Biden could definitely win. So even if he doesn't win Pennsylvania, if he wins these three states, he still crosses 270 electoral votes. You can also say that he wins the state of Pennsylvania, but let's say he loses Wisconsin, which went to Donald Trump by the largest percentage in 2016. He can win Pennsylvania, lose Wisconsin, but he can easily make that up with a state like Arizona or even the two districts in Nebraska and Maine that are toss-up districts. For Donald Trump, things are a lot more different. I mean, he just has so many different states that he needs to win. So right now, taking a look at these three Rust Belt states, I want to take a look at the chances that 538 gives to Joe Biden. Just take a look at how possible this scenario of 278 for Biden really is. Now, he's probably going to win more states if he wins all three of these states, but let's just say he only wins these three. So, the state of Wisconsin, Biden has a 93% chance of victory here. That's pretty good. I mean, you have to keep in mind that this was a Trump state in 2016. He won the state by 0.7%, and Joe Biden's chances of victory, I mean, they went to his uh, low point in mid or late August at 67% chance of victory. Right now, he is up at 93%, the highest percentage chance of victory Joe Biden has ever had in the state of Wisconsin with just five days to go until this election. Joe Biden is now, you know, in a better position than ever to win the state of Wisconsin. I mean, these new polls, the ABC Washington Post poll that came out today, shows by or yesterday shows Biden up 17 points in the state of Wisconsin. Now that's probably an outlier, but taking a look at all of these polls, I mean they're all very positive for the Biden campaign plus 17. I think that, you know, even though it's an outlier, if Biden can leave at 17 points in the poll here in the state of Wisconsin, Donald Trump is probably going to lose the state. I mean let's just be honest here. In 2016 we really do not see too many increases for Trump in the polls, but he surprisingly won. This is the only state pollsters actually got wrong, but this time we are not seeing that sort of increase for President Trump. But we'll see how the numbers continue to change as we hit election night. Really, in my opinion, I don't think that'll change too much. I think Joe Biden will easily win the state of Wisconsin. And what you have to understand is that although the numbers may increase for Donald Trump, Donald Trump may reach his 2016 numbers over, you know, against Hillary Clinton in terms of polling and support towards the end. 
what you have to understand is that Joe Biden peaked in mid-October. And when he peaked, voting already began in these three states. It was already voting there. And since Clinton only lost these three states by a tiny, tiny margin in 2016, Joe Biden, with that extra boosted support from his peak period, I think will just that alone will be the boost him over the top. And right now, with this link, uh, lead notch showing you know signs that it's going to decrease anytime soon i think he's going to win these three states with pretty solid margins i think michigan might be a likely state my prediction still has it as a lean state but i think that six percent is definitely uh very easily reachable for joe biden wisconsin pennsylvania i expect around five to seven percent margins in these two states as well the state of michigan joe biden has a 94 percent chance at victory here in the wolverine state and this forecast same thing but biden chances was in michigan have always been higher this state is just the most left-leaning out of those three states and it was really a shock that clinton actually lost the state in 2016 Taking a look at how this forecast has changed, as you can see Joe Biden is still doing very, very well here in the state of Michigan. Paul Anita still has him up quite a bit. These A-plus radio pollsters really are showing very positive news for the former vice president. This is one of the most important states for Joe Biden, and his numbers are looking rock solid here in the state. And then finally, the state of Pennsylvania, this state out of these three states, I think Donald Trump has the highest chance of victory and 538 agrees. In this state, Joe Biden has an 86% chance of victory to Donald Trump with 14. Still, Joe Biden much more favored to win the state of Pennsylvania over the current president. As you can see, his chances here aren't the highest. His polling numbers are not as well as they were just a week ago, but still, he leads in the state by, I believe, 5.1%. So... Then still a pretty solid margin for the former vice president in the state of Pennsylvania. The numbers here are still holding off for him. I don't see Trump really winning the state. You know, as you can see, Biden is leading in most polls. Only one poll puts Trump ahead, and that's just plus 3%. So definitely, I think that Joe Biden will win Pennsylvania. Surprises can obviously happen. I mean, we are in 2020, but at this point in time, they're really just not that likely to actually occur. So taking a look at this electoral map one more time, Biden 278 electoral votes. Now let's see how he can expand on this lead, because I think if he were to win the election, these would be three states out again over that these other states he would win by smaller margins just like they show here on this snake graph so i agree with the fact that Pence, arizona is probably going to be the next state taking a look at arizona joe biden has a seven in ten chance of winning this state donald trump 30 percent as you can see this forecast biden has peaked here again polls looking very positive for the former vice president i expect a tilt margin in this state uh the numbers are within the lean categorization but i think that just the fact that Trump was able to do better than the polls expected in many states, uh, I think that I would be dumb to give the state as a lean state to Joe Biden. I do think the election will be a little bit closer than the polls, but definitely I don't think I'm going to see any flips just because of the polls, except for states like Iowa and Georgia, but a state like Arizona that's been polling in favor of Joe Biden for the entire election cycle, I think will go to Joe Biden. There's no way this state has never pulled in favor of Donald Trump and uh, you know Florida as well and North Carolina there's never but a single moment in this cycle starting from I guess April that Donald Trump has ever led in these three states which is why I've been giving them to Joe Biden Joe Biden has never lost lead in this these three states if he had lost it you know a week ago I probably would have be, be giving it to Trump but he has not. Joe Biden has consistently led over the current president in these three states, and he's nearing 50% in all three of them. The next state, the state of North Carolina, Biden at 64% chance of victory. The numbers here aren't as great as they were. He peaked just a week ago, but still, he's holding off strong. Polls might be getting a little bit closer. But still, I think North Carolina was one of the first states to do early voting when he led by a pretty large margin. I mean, basically at this point in time, voting was already occurring here. So I think that they will get Joe Biden over the top. And I say that was pretty close in 2016, a state that has not gone to a Democrat since 2008. So North Carolina, 15 electoral votes for Joe Biden. I want to talk about these two congressional districts first before I take a look at the state of Florida. The second district of Nebraska, I think, will either be lean or tilt for Joe Biden. I'm going to put it in a tilt for right now just to be safe. The second district of Maine as well, I think, will flip to Joe Biden. It may be an almost 15% flip 
for the former vice president, but I think it's doable. This is a district that had not voted for a Republican for over two decades before Trump, and I think that with what's happening right now, I think Maine will finally flip back to completely blue, although Trump still has a very good chance of these two districts, but definitely a larger chance at the second district of Maine. He's planned to visit there in just a couple days, but I think it's a complete waste of time. He's not really going to get too much out of that. So the second district of Maine, I think, Right now, I would put my money on Biden, but still, if, you know, if I if I had to personally, I wouldn't bet on this at all because it's really a 50-50 at this point in time. The polls are very, very close here, but really not too many. So really not too much information for us to look at in the second district of Maine. So you have four final states. Donald Trump has not been allocated a single swing state yet. And what you have to understand is that in 2016, he won every single one of them. These are swing states that Trump won all of them. And I'm not just, you know, only categorizing states that Trump won in 2016 as swing states. Because Nevada, Minnesota, and Virginia, as well as New Hampshire, they really just are not competitive this time around. Trump was originally going to target states like Minnesota and Nevada. But these two states, they're just not flipping. They are going to go to Joe Biden. I can promise you guys that. Minnesota is not going to go to Donald Trump and you know I don't know how else to put this but his numbers are just not there if it was a four or five percent margin I maybe it's possible like in Pennsylvania still very unlikely but Minnesota with almost 10 percent margin in favor of Joe Biden this state is just not competitive the final four states we have here Texas Ohio Iowa and Georgia taking a look at the state of Georgia Biden currently has a 54 percent chance of victory here do I think he's going to win? I really am not sure. This state, first of all, is just very, very close in general. Second of all, this state has gone to a Republican in every election since 1996. And as well as that, this state, voter suppression tactics will be employed here. I am pretty confident in that. I think the Trump campaign will definitely be able to try to suppress Democratic votes in the state of Georgia. Not the Trump campaign specifically, maybe, but the Republican Party here, I think, is definitely going to do that. I mean, you saw in California with those fake ballot boxes, the Republicans are very desperate to do whatever they can do to try to, I guess, steal this election, which is really what they're doing if they are, you know, cheating in this type of way. So Georgia, that... I don't really think it's going to go to Joe Biden. I think it will go to Donald Trump. So do I also think the state of Iowa will also go to Donald Trump. 50-50 right now, I would give to Trump just because of his margin in 2016. But you see that Trump's chance of victory here have been pretty high throughout the election cycle, basically until now. However, I will make a uh, commitment, I guess. Not really commitment, but if Joe Biden is able to lead by 3 to 4% consistently, I mean, you see it, two April Esprit de Pulsters, Siena College, New York Times, and Monmouth University put Biden up 3 and Biden up 4. If Joe Biden can keep this sort of lead up until election night, I truly do believe that Joe Biden may win the state of Iowa. Right now, I'm just not convinced. But I think that, you know, I, Iowa with plus three for Biden and plus four out of, you know, fairly good pollsters. I think that I will definitely consider flipping it in my final 2020 election prediction. But for right now, I would give it to Donald Trump. But still, I think Biden is in a very good position right now. It's six electoral votes, so it's really not important. But I think it would be a pretty momentous flip considering the fact that this state voted for Trump by almost 10% four years ago. Ohio and Texas, I will also give to Donald Trump. So this puts Biden 335 to Trump 203. Now, taking a look at how Donald Trump can possibly win this election. For the current president to win the 2020 election, he cannot win Texas with a tilt margin. He would have to win it by at least a lean margin you know, if he were to do very bad and still do good in other parts of the country. In my opinion, for Trump to win, I think a likely margin is kind of required in Texas. If it was a lead margin, I really just don't see him winning here. Let's give it to him as a lead margin just so we're more realistic here. Ohio, I think also cannot be a tilt margin for the current president. Ohio definitely cannot be a tilt margin. If Ohio is that close, he's not winning the election. Iowa and Georgia, same thing. These states cannot be tilt states. I mean, they can be the margin that they were in 2016 or a little bit lower than that, but not less than 2%. He would also have to flip North Carolina, which I think would be a struggle in and of itself. Florida as well, a state that I just don't see going to Trump right now, but if we give that to him, he's at 247. If we give him Arizona as well, 11 electoral votes, he'd be at 258. This is also a state that Trump has never led in. These three states, Trump has never led in this election cycle, so I don't see how it's going to win them. 
But if he wants to win the election, he would also have to win either Pennsylvania or Wisconsin and Pennsylvania or Michigan. So really, Pennsylvania is the key state here. It's the closest, and he would definitely need the state of Pennsylvania to win. So the path to victory right now is pretty clear for Joe Biden. He just has to run right through it on election night for Donald Trump. Unless something drastic happens, he is on a trajectory to lose as of right now. So that will be it for this video. Make sure you join my Discord server if you have not. Again, we're doing this map contest right here. So make sure you join so you do not miss out on this and the chance to win a couple Discord Nitros that we're giving out. Also, I've also launched channel memberships on this channel. So make sure you consider getting one of those if you're interested in the sweet perks. Just 99 cents per month. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching this video. I will be doing a live stream on election night. More details about that will be coming soon. But I committed I will be doing a live stream on the 3rd of November as I'll be covering election night but we'll, do, we'll be doing other stuff I, I won't just be talking about the election for 6 hours straight I don't really know if you guys want that but uh, yeah thank you guys for watching like, comment, and subscribe and I will see all of you guys in the next video